The Northwest Territories has the hometown advantage tonight. They're playing in Hay River's brand new arena, but they're up against rivals Team Yukon. It's just one of many excitements coming from the South Slave 2018 Arctic Winter Games being held in Hay River and Fort Smith. For teammates Ethan Ansi and Jean Lacamero, it's an event unlike anything they've ever seen. It's pretty cool having all these different teams. It brings uh, diversity to the territories here. And uh, I'm excited here to play with, you know, different, different nationalities as well. It's kind of nerve-wracking playing in front of the home crowd, but at the same time, uh, it's just like you, you feel the en energy throughout the room, throughout the rink. The arena acts as a hub for athletes, spectators and volunteers a chance to meet new youth from far away. You won't see it anywhere else and it's just a good way to present the different cultures of the North in one games. Hockey is known as Canada's game. But it's not the only game here. Only at the Arctic Winter Games would you find a spontaneous gathering for a traditional Dene hand game right outside the hockey arena. These games, along with other traditional games, are popping up unplanned throughout. And there will be cultural activities happening throughout the week in both communities as well. Being part of the Arctic Winter Games and having everyone here it brings the whole Arctic together. And I don't think we get as much appreciation for what's up here. And it just gives the players and everyone a, something, a place to show where they belong. Back on the ice, Ansi and Lacamero show off their skills and a love for a sport they have played all their life. Pretty important. Um, I know last year a few guys from Yellowknife actually went down south to pursue hockey. So it's, it's in our blood, it's in our systems. Tamara Pimentel, ABTN National News, Hay River.